hey guys welcome to my channel so today we're having a productive day okay i'm really excited i have so much to do today i planned a lot just for this video really um but also just because i need to get a lot done and i feel like getting a lot done during one day allows me to kind of rest towards the end of the week so today is monday i'm finally back in like a routine i feel like you guys know i just moved in this place if you don't know now you know but i feel like every day i was just unpacking organizing getting everything together like settling in and now i'm finally to a place where i'm kind of back into my old routine of like filming working getting things done caring about myself um so yeah today is going to be super productive and hopefully it inspires you to be productive as well without further ado let's get started make sure you hit that subscribe button though like make sure you hit that subscribe button girl make sure you turn your post notifications and follow your on instagram at kayla cake i kind of want to film a reel today but i'm not sure Maybe like a day in my life in 30 seconds. I don't know, we'll see. Girl, just add into the to-do list and I'm already jam-packed, but you know, we'll we'll try to fit it in somewhere. Okay, so let me show you guys my workout outfit really quick. Hold on, should I go back in my room? All right, so here is my workout top. It's from Her Athletic Journey. It is so cute. I love everything about it. It fits amazing. Guys, make sure y'all follow her. I'll put all her information over here so that you guys can be hip to her relaunch because she is relaunching and coming out with new sets, new everything. Like she said, she may be bringing out um, some of the old styles like this one. So y'all stay tuned because her stuff fits amazing and I cannot wait for she relaunches. These are the shorts that is a part of that set i love everything it has great control in the tummy like it just feels so secure right here so yeah and then her logo and then her athletic journey so yeah i love these so much shout out to you girl oh baby and it's black owned woman owned so you know we gotta support okay of course we gotta take our mask actually i need to put it on um because there is a mask mandatory rule in my building so all right y'all so we're done in the gym and i feel really good I feel very energized and now it is time to go back upstairs get showered get dressed for the day Change of plans, I actually made breakfast first. So here we go. And then I also made an iced coffee. If you wanna know where, how I make my iced coffee and also where everything is from, check my Instagram under my home highlight. All right, I'm gonna eat my breakfast, take a shower. Um, while I'm eating my breakfast, I might make a to-do list um, just so I can kind of plan my day out really quick since I didn't do it yesterday. All right, so we're out the shower. This is what I'm wearing for the day. This little white set from Mina Monroe. I'll link it down below. It's a black owned business. Okay, so support. All right, first on the to-do list, clean, 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 <laughs> because it looks crazy in here. So I wanna get like a laundry load started. I wanna get the dishwasher going um, and then I can run my errands. So that way everything is going while I'm gone because you know, we got the time, like we can't just be wasting time. Currently 11.30, so I'm assuming that I can pretty much finish all this by 12.30. All right, let's get started. The earlier we start, the earlier we finish. So let's do this. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox my Decenio prints. This is actually footage from when I first got them, from when I first moved in. And you guys have seen these kind of in the background of my vlogs. You guys seen it on my Instagram and y'all want to know where they're from. They are from Decenio. So I have some more from them. You guys know I've worked with them before. So shout out to Decenio for sending these over, for partnering with me on this video. I got some more amazing prints for them that are going to go perfect in my living room. And as you can see, this is kind of the color scheme that I'm going for. I also gifted my my sister two prints from them as well because she's redoing her room and I was raving about Decenio to her so she went ahead and picked out some for her color scheme so they definitely have ones that match so many different color schemes so many different home decor you know aesthetics and all that good stuff one thing I did want to mention is their frames so 
if you are in an apartment, you guys know you can't really drill holes in the wall. You're really not supposed to or they prefer you not to. One thing I love about Decineo frames is that they are super lightweight. So you can easily use like command strips or something to hang them. You don't always have to drill holes in the wall and damage the walls. So here's a better look at the two that I got. I actually shop by color on Decineo, which makes it super easy for me to go ahead and make sure that I'm, you know, going with my theme. And my themes are clearly nudes and a little touch of black. Also, another tip I found on Instagram. So I saw Drea. She actually measured out on the floor where her furniture would be so that she made sure everything will fit while everything was still on the way. So... My couch is on back order. What do I do? I'm just going to go ahead and tape off where it is on the floor so that I make sure that my prints are centered. So now I'm just going to go ahead and place the picture frame command strips on here. And these hold really, really well. Like I said, the frames of Decineo are super lightweight. They aren't heavy or anything, so they won't damage your walls, number one. And then if you use this little hack, it definitely won't damage your walls. I use a total of four of these to hang my Decineo prints. And I also downloaded this leveler app to make sure that my prints were, you know, just nice and straight onto the wall. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hang the other one right next to it. Getting them even was a little bit hard, but I made it happen and they came out so good. So make sure you guys check out Decineo. I love everything about their website. The prints are amazing. They have so many choices to choose from. If you do shop there, let me know which ones you got. Everything you guys need to know is down below in the description box, so make sure you check that out. And there will also be a coupon code for you guys to save 10% extra on top of their site-wide sale that they're having now. So if there's any time to get some prints, it's right now. So definitely go check that out. Let me know which ones you're interested in. And also, again, thank you to Decenio for sending these over. I love, just love them. Stardust in the moonlight is all I wanna see. Look up in the night sky, cause you know where to be seen. Never thought I'd be the one living for fantasy. Got me onto higher ground, I think I'm in today. When you heard me calling for you, already given up on someone that you love, someone that you love, someone that you love. You got too much going on for someone that you love, someone that you love, someone that you love.
all right so i just did a like kind of cleaning session i'll do a deeper clean once i kind of figure out i don't know my schedule of like cleaning i really want to get a weekly schedule like down pat so that i can figure out what days i want to like super deep clean so i'll probably do it later in the week maybe i'm not sure i just checked the weather and it's actually like 50 something degrees outside i thought it was like 70 it looked real nice outside so i guess i have to change my outfit i don't know what i'm gonna change it to these leather pants that i always y'all already know if you have been a subscriber these leather pants from shein i wear them with everything because they're just bomb like i don't know if they still have them if they do i'll link them down below but these right here are fire so i'm probably gonna wear those and i don't know what shoes probably just like some tennis shoes or something because i don't have any other shoes y'all why i take a l on the sneakers app this morning really thinking like i was gonna get these shoes like i was hype i was really hype actually where's my phone let me right here because they sent me an email i entered the draw like twice i don't know if you're a sneaker person but girl i entered the draw twice and immediately one of them bounced back and said I didn't get selected. So but they never emailed my other. Um, yeah, they never emailed my other thing, my other email. So I guess I didn't get picked, girl. I don't know, but I don't even know why I tried. I knew these sneakers were like, I didn't actually, I didn't know that they were like a cool sneaker. Like I didn't think a lot of people would be like on them because I haven't heard much about them. So I'm about to just change my pants. Um, but I haven't heard much about them. And then like I saw that you had to be in a draw for them. And I was like, oh Lord, okay, I'm never gonna get these. So just, we can try, but like, let's see. And I also heard, again, I'm not a sneaker girl. I do not know because it's just like, who wants to like, I just want the shoe. Like, dang, can I go in the store and get the shoe? You know what I'm saying? Like, why do I have to go on an app, do all this extra stuff, and maybe I'll get it? Like, no. And then also, who wants to pay, like, three times the retail for a shoe? Like, I'm sorry, but I'm not doing that. Well, I'll, I won't never say never. I will never say I would never do that, but, girl, I'm not doing that. All right, let me gather my stuff, and then let's run some errands. Just got to Kohl's and returned my Amazon um, package, but they're having like a home sale. So I was like, let me look through and see what they have. It's not really like much left, but let's just look through and see. Oh, they have um, Beba hangers. Ooh, they have these slippers here. I was actually looking for a pair of um, home slippers, but those aren't my size. So maybe I can look for them somewhere just found these hemp's like lotions for 50 percent off i've heard they're good i'm just trying to figure out which one like the triple moisture or i've heard this one smells so good this one maybe i'll get this one i found more of the slippers and they are 20 percent off so i think i'm gonna get some of this color maybe or the white ones i can't decide and they're really soft oh i like these I'm trying to figure out if I should get a 7 to 8 or 9 to 10. Let's see. These joints look big, okay? Y'all, this watch is so cute. They have so many. It's like everything is priced like it's going out of, like they're going out of business. But I just came across this one and she's so cute. Like the black with the gold. It's definitely like an everyday vibe. I don't know. Should I get it? They have this one right here, which I don't know if you can tell, but it's like opal in the middle. The face is opal. They have this one. All these different ones. Y'all, I don't need this dagger watch. Like, I want it just because it's really pretty and it's on sale, but I don't need it. But I'm going to just get my slippers and then I also got some hand sanitizer and the, um, the hemp lotion. Y'all, I am so embarrassing. I went up to the counter and was ready to pay and everything. Girl, I left my wallet at home. What in the world? I've never done that before. Well, I have like a long time ago, but usually I remember to check my purse for my wallet. Like what is going on? But maybe that was God telling me that I did not need any of that stuff. So I really wanted those slippers though. We're back and I have some packages. I just picked up my mail. So let's see what you girl got. So the first one is actually from Ana Luisa. Um, I'm actually a brand ambassador now. 
I'll tell you guys more about that in a later video. But yes, I'm so excited to be like working with them long term. You guys know I work with them a couple of times, but here's the tea. I actually signed a contract um, to work with them for a whole year. So <laughs> I'm hype, okay? Like I'm so hyped. This is, I think this is my first, yeah, this is my first brand that I've signed like that long of a contract with. Um, with other brands, I've, I think the most I've signed is like a three months or something like that. But this one's for a whole year and <laughs> I'm excited. This is for their Mother's Day campaign. So yeah, you guys will see that later on in April, like maybe a couple videos after this one. So there's that, I have another one. This one's for my black owned business. We'd love to see it. So this brand is called Bandit Studios and this is their logo for their i think it's called the login t or something like that he actually like cut and sews all of the stuff in his collections but this t-shirt i was just like i gotta get that there's a sticker i'm like oh my god kayla thank you for supporting the drop your purchase helped make everything i do possible you have always been a big sis to me and i hope we can work together soon oh my god thank you too <laughs> Like, I'm just, I'm so excited for you if you're watching this. I'm so excited for you, like your brand. You've always been a creative, like I've always seen it. And I mean, clearly we know what you majored in, but I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's just kind of relieving when someone does what they say they're gonna do, you know what I mean? Like all the years in college, we went to college together. All the years in college, like, you know, he did what he said he was gonna, he got out of college and he did what he said he was gonna do. And he's making amazing pieces of clothing. So I'll leave his Instagram right here so y'all can check his pieces out. Everything is custom, everything is original designs, all that good stuff. So definitely go shop Bandit Studios. Okay, next I got this package here, which I think I know is in here, but also I don't know. <gasps> this is so freaking bum. Can you guess what it is? Can y'all guess what it is? It's not a bag. I actually got the Jacques Mousse. I think that's how you say it, Jacques Mousse. Yeah, I got his coffee table book, the images. Let me open it. I actually don't wanna open it until I open my other coffee table book. But again, I got this one because the material was like this linen material. I don't know if you guys could kind of see. And the pop of pink, I don't really mind that, but I just really wanted this i'm also on a wait list for a bag i think i'm getting it for my birthday i don't know well i'm getting it for myself but if i if they come back by the time my birthday hits i'm definitely getting the bag that i'm gonna get i'm on the wait list y'all pray for me hopefully it comes back by my birthday but yes y'all it's four o'clock like i don't know where the time went i sat down to like check my comments and check my emails and stuff and i just ended up like in a rabbit hole of emails and comments and replying to you guys like i was being productive as far as like you know i'm working but i had a whole list to do today and that was on the list but not for that long so um yeah i don't know why but i can literally just get caught up in work like it just literally takes me by the throat anyways i need to do my makeup because i really want to um take an instagram picture before the sun gets all the way into my apartment like i want the indirect lighting i like i don't want the direct lighting i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i want like a very vacation-y type of vibe so i want to like take some pieces out in the front and like you know a very messy bun situation well i hope y'all don't act for a tutorial on this hair because girl i don't know what the heck i'm doing okay I know y'all gonna ask though, but it ain't happening. <laughs> Cause I literally don't, like all my hairstyles, I barely know what the heck I'm doing and y'all just be pressed and I just be like, I'm put on the spot. Like I don't know really what I did. It just kind of happened. Hair is really all about experimenting and that's just what I be doing. I be experimenting. I just be trying to figure out what's tea, what's not, you know, just trying to figure out life, sis.
Y'all, I go to look at the spot that I wanted to take a picture in, and this is what I mean. The sun is like shining in the spot that I want to take a picture. So I think I might have to go like right here, maybe. I don't know. Move this. I just need like lip gloss and stuff, but this is the vibe I'm going for. And I wanted to wear this dress that I got from Boohoo. This is the dress. Um, I think I'm gonna grab some white uh, strappy heels. Let's see, let's see what I have. I just bend down and my whole booty is out. This dress is so mini, like it's actually crazy. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I wanna wear these right here. These are from Simi, they're so old. All of my white heels are super old, so I feel like anything I do wear, people are gonna ask and I'm not gonna be able to um, link it for real because girl, it's sold out. I got these years and I mean years ago. All right, I'm gonna practice in the mirror how I'm about to do this. I'm done taking my pictures. I almost gave up. I, ugh, I almost said, let me just like retake them tomorrow because usually when I'm frustrated with taking pictures, I just, bro, I just set it down and I try again tomorrow because I'm not gonna stress myself out. So my makeup looks kind of light. Anyways, um, I canceled my wax appointment because I was telling myself like, no, you gonna get these pictures today. So I canceled my wax appointment and she's talking about some, oh, well, your waxer doesn't have availability until the next two weeks. So, yeah. So I'm low key like kind of hurt because two more weeks, like girl. But also I wanna transition out of waxing and start getting laser hair removal. So I still haven't found, um, that's just gonna be such an annoying process, but I still haven't found a place that does laser hair removal for women of color and also thicker hair. Cause a lot of lasers, they're really geared towards very fine, very light pigmented hair, you know? And as black women, we don't have that. So we have to find special um, like laser hair removal places that cater to our hair type, our skin color, all that type of stuff. If you're even like darker than me, it's even harder because it can really mess up the pigment in your skin, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna have discoloration, like you went there to have a smooth surface, you know? So, we'll see what I find. In the meantime, let's start cooking dinner because your girl is hungry, okay? I try to be all skinny for the photos. It's time to get down, okay? So, let's cook dinner. I'm going to make salmon. I don't know what I'm gonna eat as a side. I do have these broccoli florets in here that I got from the grocery store a while ago, but y'all, these are the baby ones. Like these little tiny broccoli things. Like I thought I was just grabbing regular broccoli. And then when I cooked the first one, cause I got two bags, I was like, the broccoli about this little. Like girl, what, what am I gonna do with it? And then I'll probably do some cauliflower rice. Or I was thinking, I do have potatoes. Maybe I can make some potatoes. I don't know, we'll see. I forgot to press start on the dishwasher. So that's what you hear now. Everything is washing. I'm upset because I'm hungry, okay? I just wanna cook dinner. How could I forget? How? How? All right, y'all. The dishes are finally done. It is eight o'clock. I'm starving. So let's start cooking. Ooh, do y'all see the smoke? Oh my gosh. That's a good facial moment right there.
yeah, today was very productive. I feel like I got so much done as far as like cleaning and getting the house together, looking right and nice. And also, you know, just running a few errands, things like that. And then I also cooked dinner. Yesterday I did not cook dinner, so I feel accomplished today. I'm done eating and I'm just putting stuff away in the kitchen. Just trying to tidy up a little bit. I was actually watching For Life on Hulu. I'm almost caught up, I think. I think I only have like one episode after this one. And is that the season finale? Like, I don't know. I'll have to check. But I've been watching that, y'all. It is so, it's getting good. Like, it's kind of, I don't know. Like, it took a different turn than I thought it would, but it's pretty okay. So, next, I think I'm going to watch Queen of the South because my cousin was raving about it when I went to the, my grandpa's birthday cookout. If you have any show recommendations, leave them down below because your girl needs some show recommendations. I watched that show, Behind Her Eyes. Girl, y'all actually told me to watch it, so I watched it. And child, that that show was a little crazy i'm not gonna lie like it takes you a long time to get into it like i fell asleep on it at least twice um but once you get towards the end like that's when stuff starts getting a little crazy so yeah it was a good show it just they take too long to get to the point and i really hate that like i hate when shows just girl hurry up <laughs> but all right let's fold these clothes and get in a bit i'm so excited it's 9 40. i cooked dinner super late because of the whole dishwasher situation i really wanted to make some potatoes with my salmon but again dinner was super late so i just popped a bunch of stuff in the microwave while my salmon was cooking but next time girl we doing the potatoes or maybe tomorrow i'll probably vlog tomorrow so you probably see it at some point but i think i want to do shrimp and potatoes Ooh. Okay, y'all, I lied. I think I deserve to fold my clothes tomorrow. Honestly, I've been up and at them since 7 a.m. And girl, I think, I think I can relax. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna relax because, I don't know, I just got really tired. Like I looked at the clothes and was like, oh no. I think I'm just gonna grab my laptop and finish watching the show in here because as you guys know, I don't have a TV in my room. I also don't have a couch <laughs> yet. Um, so I have like this desk chair that I just sit in and watch TV, but I'll also be working. So that's my couch right now. <laughs> um, I was thinking about getting a bean bag. My sister told me that I should probably get like a bean bag just for temporary purposes until my um, couch comes. And I thought that might be a good idea, but also really a bean bag. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't see the vision. <laughs> But anyways, um, yeah, I'm just going to finish watching the show in here. Just relax and stuff because today was really, really good. I got a lot done. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to relax. I think I'm going to take the rest of the day easy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. My face is so shiny. Like, girl, are you soaking or are you soaking? But yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it inspired you to get up and be productive. Um, and yeah. That's it. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video.